my review on WrestleMania 7, Superstars and Stripes Forever, the main event for the World Wrestling Federation Heavyweight Championship belt. It is the challenger, Hulk Hogan, taking on the champion, Sergeant Slaughter. That's the main event, of course. We also have the retirement match with the Ultimate Warrior and the Macho King, Randy Savage. We have the Hart Foundation versus the Nasty Boys for the World Tag Team Belts. And there's a lot of great to this card. There's one thing that's not good about this card um, that kind of ticked me off. I'm going to say it right now. No Demolition versus uh, the Road Warriors. Why? I don't know, because I guess once when they had the road wires, Demolition got squashed. And that always ticked me off, too. But let's start out WrestleMania 7. We have the Rockers defeating the Faces of Fear, Haku and the Barbarian. A 6.5 out of 10. This was very good. The Rockers, of course, in the Hulkamania era, was a very, very good tag team. And they would later break up at the very tail end of the year, officially at the beginning of 1992. And this was just very good. 6.5 out of 10. Kerry Von Erich defeating Dino Bravo. Luckily, Kerry pretty much squashed the ever-leaving fuck out of Dino Bravo. As he should have always got squashed. It was basically Dino Bravo hammering him down. Kerry Von Erich basically hulks up or whatever, hits the, hits the Texas Tornado or the Spinning Discus Punch. Very, very nice finisher. Uh, squashes him pretty much. I give it a 2 out of 10. The British Bulldog, Davy Boy Smith, defeats the Warlord. The Warlord always fucking sucked. But um, he actually had some pretty decent match, and this was one of them, a 5.5 .5 out of 10. With the British Bulldog, it was very powerful match. There was a lot of slamming, a lot of test of strength, but they made it work somehow. I don't know how you could work with a Warlord, but oh my god. 5.5 out of 10. Very good. Now, one of my favorite tag team title matches we have. Nasty Boys versus the Heart Foundation. This was just very good. Very, very solid. Oh, so, such a good match. 7 out of 10. The crowd in this match got... I mean, it was loud as fuck. But in this match, it got even louder. And as the course of the show went on and on and on, it just got louder and louder. For a crowd that was about uh, 18,000, one of the lowest attendances in WrestleMania history, it was loud as fuck. But a 7 out of 10 is the Nasty Boys defeat the Heart foundation to capture the tag team belts the heart foundation and the nasty boys cut some really good promos on each other too before the match very good and then we have one of the most original original clever and downright hilarious matches i've ever fucking seen jake roberts versus rick martell in a blindfold match so you have roberts the whole thing was he was blind it, it, Rick Martel sprayed in the eyes with the arrogance. Remember, kids, arrogance can be bottled. There's one thing I learned in wrestling. It's arrogance can be bottled. But uh, here he is blindfolded, so they're going to have a blindfold match. He, you think he has, Jake Roberts has five senses, but he's a snake. He has six. So, blindfolded or not, blind or not, he'll still hit the DDT and he hit the DDT indeed this whole match you were like doing this a lot finding out where they where each other are at you know and Jake Roberts would come this close to him like he would go this right and then Rick Martel would go the other way like at the last second Rick Martel would be crawling around reaching for his feet rich reaching for Roberts but not getting him he was like Searching around on the canvas, doing that a lot. <laughs> then they went to the outside, and they really got lost. Uh, not a whole lot of moves were hit. But, oh my god, this was just great stuff. And I know all you serious wrestling fans out there are like, Dude, this is stupid. Blindfold, they're not even doing anything. They're just doing this. Wrestling's meant to be stupid. 
This was great. The match itself gets a five, two and a half stars. I'm going to give an extra five points for originality, for clever, for comedy, for great stuff. Jake Roberts hitting the DDT and gets the pinfall. One, two, three. And then we have, this is where it becomes legendary. This WrestleMania becomes legendary. Uh, not at the time, but now it's legendary, especially now. As The Undertaker goes 1-0, starts his streak, and defeats Jimmy Superfly Snuka. Jimmy Snuka fought. Jimmy Snuka had bas got basically a clothesline in and a headbutt in, and that's all it was. Undertaker basically jobbed him out. And Bobby Hayden went ape shit. That is Jimmy Superfly Snuka. So here is... The Undertaker, the new phenom in the World Wrestling Federation, he beats the the original phenom. He was dubbed the phenom. And Jimmy Snuka was a perfect opponent. A perfect opponent for The Undertaker right here at WrestleMania. A 5 out of 10 for the match. And I'm giving an extra 5 points again for the start of the legendary streak. You know, it's just too bad they fucked it up in the end, though. Oh, well. It was a great ride while it lasted. Still fucked up. Um, then, we have The Ultimate Warrior defeats Macho King Randy Savage in a retirement match. In one of the most legendary, iconic, one of the greatest matches ever, actually. Not just WrestleMania. Ever. And I know a lot of people said Macho Man's best match ever was against Ricky Steamboat. Story, from a storytelling aspect, from build-up to the crowd, to the, to the match itself, to the storytelling, the work ethic they had, this match, head and shoulders better than the Ricky Steamboat match. I said it. Ultimate Warrior versus Macho King Randy Savage is Macho Man's best match ever, and it is most certainly the Ultimate Warrior's best match ever. No question, five stars, a 10 out of 10. This is an amazing match. And I know a lot of you people like to snicker and laugh about Super Cena, how he kicks out everything. Keep in mind, Ultimate Warrior in this match kicked out of Five consecutive elbow drops. Five back-to-back -back top rope elbow drops from the Macho King. Oh, yeah, and you thought super, you thought Cena was Superman. Haha, <laughs> if Cena's Superman, then fuck Ultimate Warrior's God. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then Ultimate Warrior would warrior up, fucking hit his nail clotheslines, hit the... Military press hit the best big squash and Macho King would kick out and then Warrior. It's so fucking great. He looks up to the sky. He looks up to the ceiling. And he looks basically looking up to the heavens and grill. And the commentary in this match is just phenomenal. Everything about it is just phenomenal. And grill is so he's looking up to the heavens. Is he's searching for an answer? Is this all he has? And. Like, he is looking for an answer from God. Like, he's talking to God. I know that sounds silly, but he is looking up to the heavens. He's like, is this, is this, is this it for me? Is this it? Is this the end of my career? And he basically attempts to leave. And he leaves. Like, Warrior, like, comes this close from being Macho King. And then he is about to leave. And then, and then all of a sudden, Macho King attacks Warrior he counters the big, uh, ha uh, the big overhead, the the axe handle, whatever it's called, top rope axe handle. And he counters. He hits him with three consecutive shoulder tackles for the finish. One, two, three. He didn't even pin him. He just stood on top of him. And that's what great about the Ultimate Warrior. Ah, uh, he just he finishes opponent in dominating fashion. This is, without question, Ultimate Warrior's best worked match. And this is Macho Man's best match, too. I am saying this from start to finish, from the build-up to the 
to the bell. Everything about this match is spectacular. This is head and shoulders better than the WrestleMania 3 match he had with Ricky Steamboat. I am serious. And so far, this is the best match of WrestleMania. Not just WrestleMania 7, but this is the greatest match in WrestleMania history. 5 out of 10. A 10 out of 10. Everything about it was great. Post-match, Ms. Elizabeth comes in, kicks out Sherry Martell, and they reunite. Macho Man and Ms. Elizabeth reunite and true love. True love conquers all, and they reunite. And it's such a marvelous moment. Again, I have to give it extra points. 5 out of 10. Okay, moving on. We have Terrence and Kato defeating Demolition. They fucked Demolition over big time. They got squashed. 3 out of 10. Next up, we have Big Boss Man defeating Mr. Perfect via countout. No, via disqualification in the air count title match. Pretty solid. 5.5 5 out of 10. Earthquake defeats uh, Greg Valentine in a forgotten match. 2 out of 10. Road Warriors squash power and glory in 55 seconds. Not ranking it. Virgil defeats Ted DiBiase via countout. And this was also a very good match. But they have a better match at SummerSlam. 6 out of 10. The Mountie defeats Tito Santana. It was short and sweet. But I'm not going to rank it at all. And Hulk Hogan defeats Sergeant Slaughter to capture... Again, the World Wrestling Federation Championship belt in a great main event match. 7 out of 10. This was, you know, when Sergeant Slaughter was the ultimate heel. And he was just fucking getting all sorts of crapped on. He was even getting threatened. He was getting bomb threats. Yeah, they threatened to kill him. That's why WrestleMania 7 wasn't going to be in the... Uh, in the big stadium it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be in the 100,000 seating stadium but it wasn't they had to move to the la sports arena uh seven out of ten this whole wrestlemania is unbelievable the nostalgia factor holds up this wrestlemania holds up it's a fine line it's a fine glass of wine uh, it's a fine bottle of wine even though I'm too young to drink wine, but whatever. It is, you know what I'm saying. No matter how old this WrestleMania show gets, it still holds up today. This is one of the best matches WrestleMania's ever. A 6.6 .6 out of 10. That might seem low, but keep in mind, I'm reviewing every single match. Watch the retirement match. Watch the tag team title match. Watch the opener. Watch the main event. Everything. Watch the blindfold match watch the the undertaker match because it's the start of the streak even though they fucked it up um you know skip a couple of squash matches this wrestlemania is one of the finest wrestlemanias you'll get one of my favorites a 6.6 .6 out of 10 <sighs> and yes the ultimate warrior versus macho man randy savage is one of the best matches of all time catch you next time with wrestlemania 8 a macho flair affair.